Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am making kokovo, which literally translates to rooster with wine. is a French dish, but mainly made with chicken braised with wine and root vegetables. It is a rustic dish and dated to ancient times. It's very flavorful and we need a good chicken for that. French dish, French chicken, Pantade Fermière, which is a heritage guinea hen. From France, this bird is exceptionally flavorful with excellent meat texture. Guinea hens are lean and tender, dark meat has less fat than chicken and flavor similar to pheasant. It's a very approachable game bird. Because of its leaniness, you will find that many recipes call for moist cooking method. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna braise that chicken in wine. Uh, of course, you can use a regular chicken, by all means. You will cook it the same and treat it the same and butcher it the same. So I am butchering that small chicken because those guinea hens usually about a pound and a pound and a half but if you're using a bigger chicken you know you will just have more pieces but i find uh, a very efficient way to butcher that chicken into eight pieces and you will see how i did it we're gonna keep that piece because that's gonna give us flavor we're gonna throw it in the sauce and then fish it out later because there's not much meat on it. We're gonna um, season our chicken with salt and pepper on one side and move on to other ingredients, which our next ingredient would be bacon. In some cocoa recipes, they don't use the bacon, but I like it because first of all, the bacon is gonna give us an excellent browning of the chicken and that's what we need to keep all this moisture in because the chicken is very lean and I'm using the apple wood smoked bacon and it's a thicker cut and it's very flavorful bacon and it's gonna give us an excellent flavor our next ingredient would be one pound of pearl onions and there's a certain way you peel these guys and the pearl onions also known as button or baby onions in um, the UK or they call it creamers in US and there's a way to peel these guys you're just gonna put them in a saucepan fill it up with water you're gonna boil it for about five minutes then put ice over them and you will see how easy it is to remove uh, the skin off of them. But if you don't want to go through this process, there's always a way to buy them in frozen form and just use them as they are. Since this dish is mainly made with root vegetables, our next ingredient would be two large carrots, which is going to dice them and also one large yellow onion and you don't have to dice it too fine because most um, of this onion is going to be used in the sauce and most likely it's just going to disintegrate in there so we're just going to chop it roughly and the next root vegetable i chose to use is rutabaga which is a purple turnip and it's a very flavorful um a vegetable if it's used in some kind of sauce in that rich sauce that we're gonna make for that chicken this uh, vegetable is gonna be just perfect or you could use a celery root which is also called celery yak. and as far as the mushrooms I'm using one pound of creamy mushrooms and we don't have to dice them too fine if they're too small, just cut them in half. If they're slightly bigger, cut them in quarters. To make this dish, you're gonna need a cast iron pot or a pot that can easily go in the oven. And we're gonna start by adding two tablespoons of olive oil so we can get our bacon really crispy. And it has to be crispy, not saggy. Uh, we're just going to remove the bacon and uh, try to remove every single bit of them. Otherwise, it's going to start burning. And we end up with this flavorful oil, which will help us to brown our chickens. 
put your chicken seasoned and skin side down and we're gonna season it on the other side with some salt and pepper and the key here is to get our chicken really brown this will help us to seal the juices in the chicken then you're gonna turn it over and brown it on the other side we don't need to cook it just to brown it then remove the chicken and we're gonna continue on with our uh, preparation we're gonna add our onions and carrots and we're gonna saute those in that um, chicken fat and bacon fat and olive oil and it's gonna give our vegetables such a great flavor then we're gonna return our chicken back to um, on top of our vegetables and then kind of move chicken around so the sauteed vegetables slightly cover it then we're gonna add our sliced rutabaga and the crispy bacon on top for the sauce we're gonna need quarter of a cup of good cognac or brandy one cup to one cup and a half of chicken stock and we're gonna need two cups of red wine and I'm using Pinot Noir and we're gonna need some fresh thyme so the cognac goes on top then the chicken stock then the red wine and it's up to you you can use burgundy wine you could use um, pinot noir um, whichever red wine you prefer and then add your thyme bouquet on top close the lid and uh, this goes into the oven it's going to be braised in the oven at 360 degrees fahrenheit for about an hour in the meantime we need to brown our mushrooms and two tablespoons of butter goes onto the um, frying pan and we're gonna add our cremini mushrooms the key here is to brown the mushrooms very well it means that you practically have to get rid of all the moisture that's in the mushrooms and it will help them to brown very well then season your mushrooms with some salt and pepper and this combination of butter and salt and pepper is going to give your mushrooms very good flavor let's check on our chicken it's been an hour and yep it's ready look at this bubbling away all we need to do is just to make the roux to thicken our sauce and the roux is simple here is two tablespoons of soft butter and two tablespoons of flour we just need to mix it into some kind of paste so we can dissolve it in our sauce and our thyme bouquet is going away and then we just need to dump this roux into our sauce if you see that your sauce have uh, reduced too much you can always add just a little bit more of the chicken stock and it depends on how much sauce you um, need or would like to have in your dish but this seems to be okay so we're just gonna mix our roux in and our fried mushrooms go on top and our pearl onions also go in the dish and at this point we just need everything to uh, combine so we're just going to close the lid and cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes in the meantime we of course need some fresh herbs and i'm just using parsley so i'm just going to roughly chop some parsley and after 10 minutes of cooking your dish is absolutely done and look at this sauce it had it had thickened uh, very well and everything is just looking good the last thing we need to do is just to taste it for seasoning I feel uh, like I need just a little bit of salt maybe just a little bit of uh, freshly ground black pepper mix it around and the last thing that goes into our dish is some fresh parsley and our beautiful cocovon is ready we just need to make mashed potatoes yes because it is served with mashed potatoes so my mashed potatoes are boiling away i'm just gonna mash them and put them on the plate just like that if you feel like you want to do some decoration on them yes go ahead and do it and our beautiful cocovon 
is gonna go onto our plate with this rich and hearty sauce and some root vegetables and it is such an exquisite dish i encourage you to try look at this the chicken is tender and the sauce is absolutely beautiful i hope you like this dish thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye